fire ignites passion and creativity. Free your imagination with the slim, sleek and beautiful new Huawei P8. Now you've heard a lot of people talking about how big 3D printing is going to get and it certainly is heading that way. But you know, to own a 3D printer and buy one commercially is still quite expensive even though the prices are coming down. But uh, this new low-cost solution by these two 3D enthusiasts is going to make it a lot cheaper for you to own a 3D printer. Now, here to chat to us about this in the studio is Hein Schlechter and Jonathan Irwin. Thank you for joining us. So you've gone in and you've made this 3D printer that you can see on your screens right now from parts that you could buy in a hardware store. Yeah, uh, well, one of the problems with 3D printers at the moment is that you need to get 3D printed parts to actually make the 3D printer. Uh, so what we've done is we've tried to use parts that you can get in any hardware store. Yeah. Okay, so like, I mean, what are we looking at over here? I mean, I can see the screws, I can see the, the, uh, the, the casing over here, I can see that there's a motor, but uh, surely you can't buy that uh, board from a 3D uh, a, a hardware store, right, Hein? Oh, it's, it's, it's all of this is based on the Arduino, so I don't know yes. whether you're familiar yes, with Arduino, that. Yes, Arduino, yes, so absolutely. So the, the one at the bottom is the oh, Arduino. Oh, is it an Arduino? Yeah. Okay. And then you've got the specific stepper motor driver board that plugs as a shield on top of the Arduino. Okay, and, and, and tell me, what does it cost to make something like this? So this yeah. came out to four and a half thousand rand. You went to instructables.com, you got the idea to build this, but how long did it take you to, to make this? We did it in about five weeks. Yeah. But um, it, we worked every Sunday together, so that was... So, I mean, 3D printers are, are quite amazing. I mean, you can do this at home, but, but it, there's one thing to make the printer, but the, the, the software that you're using on that side is quite interesting. Tell us about the software as well. Yeah, the software is very interesting. Uh, we didn't make any of that. Yes, that's, that's open stuff. source stuff, right? Yes, the stuff that's been around for years and it, uh, it originates in CNC <laughs> machines. So these are machines that uh, they mill metal. And uh, so it's been around for years and it's been refined and now it's being uh, applied to 3D printing. So why is this so unique? You could build it with hand tools because there's a whole movement that started in, I think, 2008 by a professor in, from the University of Bath. It's called the RepRap. Yes. We stuck the, the it's all about to, to, to promote this technology. So you, you build your own first printer and you print parts for your friend's printer and he prints for his neighbor's printer. Okay. So it's just to get a printer in every house. That's, that's, that's what the whole movement is all about. And, and, and in terms of, uh, I know a lot of architects, a lot of jewelers are using 3D printers as well, but from a domestic point of view, you know, in, in your home, is there really a practical side to having a 3D printer in the home right now? You, you, can, you can print little gimmicky stuff, but, but if, if we read between the lines, technology is moving that direction. For example, your car, you, you've got a car, a part that breaks down, a plastic yeah. part, obviously. Yes. So you're going to go into the manufacturer website and you're going to download the part and you're going to print it. Instead of having to order it or wait for a few weeks, you're just going to pay a minimum amount for the part and yeah. print it yourself. Can you make this commercial? Is there, is there a commercial aspect to this or is it just is it going to remain a hobby? And do you, do you open up your ideas to share with others and uh, you know, offer advice to other enthusiasts who want to do something similar? That, that's what the whole the RepRap movement is all about. It's yeah. not about money. It, it, it's actually anti-money. Yes. So this has nothing to do with making money. Yes. Because as I say, this everything is, we've done the instructable. If you go to reprap.org, which yes. is the main website for, there's about 15 different printers. This is one of the printers that we downloaded. Well, not down, you look at the instructions of how to build this printer. Yeah. And you download the parts from that website. So this money is not the motivating factor here. It's, it's sharing this amazing technology with other people.